It's a presidential campaign year, and it's obvious what workers all across the country, but especially in Florida, are looking for. We need jobs. We need jobs desperately in, in the state of Florida. Where are the jobs? It's that simple. Where are the jobs? Jobs are like, number one, we need to get America back on its feet, back to its greatness. We're talking about jobs, we're talking about... Few on the ground have a better view of the jobs issue than machinist member and mayor of Pembroke Pines, Florida, Frank Ortiz. Uh, number one, we're jobs. And if you don't have jobs and you don't have equity, you don't have anything. As mayor of a city with a population of about 150,000, Ortis knows that jobs are the real issue, both to the middle class and to the residents of Pembroke Pines. And it's the gauge most will use when casting their vote. Jobs are the key, and our unions would say jobs. This city, I, I was saying, yes, we have $200 million worth of infrastructure needs. If the logjam between the Democrats and the Republicans in Congress would get over and fund that infrastructure bill, then they could send the money to the cities. We could put people to work right away. You don't have to be the mayor of Pembroke Pines to be affected by politics. Whether it's at the city, state, or national level, political decisions influence the lives of working Americans, especially the middle class. It's easy to identify jobs as, as, the, as the, the prime uh, issue in, in this campaign, but I feel it's much more fundamental than that. We've got to stop the erosion of the middle class. It's the feeling shared by many workers along Florida's Space Coast, an area that in some parts has been decimated because of the government's lack of funding for the space program. Here, middle class Americans struggling day to day want to know what their government is going to do to help their neighbors and their community. Many middle class Americans feel forgotten and uh, they feel that the politicians are out of touch, that the 535 members of Congress, most of them millionaires, they've never heard the words, you know, can we afford this month's mortgage payment? Can we afford this month's car payment? In Florida and across the nation, it's about jobs this campaign season. And the message the middle class is sending to the candidates is clear. I'll be watching you. I'll be watching your voting record and my next vote will depend on how you vote on labor issues. For the Machinist News Network, I'm Deirdre Kanievsky.